Hello, thanks for tuning in to Ken and Dana Design YouTube channel. My name is Patty and I'm going to be discussing the differences and similarities between lab grown diamonds and mine diamonds. I've done this once before, but I get so many questions about it still, decided to give it another go. Come take a look. So here are two diamonds, both oval in shape, both two carats, both equal in clarity and in color, E VVS1. Only difference is that one is mined and one is a lab created stone. If you're curious, here is your lab created option. Without reading documentation, you really can't tell which is which. They're visually the same. There's no specific feature that gives you a hint as to what is mined and what is lab grown. You would need to test it in a laboratory or like I said, read it in a diamond certificate. I'm going to begin with differences because they're minor. One is birthplace. You mine one, so that means it comes from the earth, and the other, the lab grown, is created in a laboratory. And the second difference is cost. Savings that come along with having to um, create something in a laboratory versus having to mine it from the earth are passed down to the consumer who's shopping for a lab grown diamond. So you save about 30% on a lab grown diamond when compared to its equivalent mine diamond option. So that's a little plus in your pocket. Similarities, basically everything else. The lab grounds and the mines look the same. The lab grounds and the mines um, are the same in hardness. The composition is the same. Uh, chemically, they are the same. On both diamond certificates, they are labeled diamonds. It's basically which diamond is best for you, not one diamond is better than the other. And Ken and Dana, we offer both. We suggest both options to clients. It's really about making the best option, not that one is better than the other. So call us, text us, email us, uh, DM us, and we'll be more than happy to answer any questions. Thanks for tuning in.